Hey, what's up? We're um, fall break. It's Friday the 15th, October 15th. It's kind of nice today. Anyways, me and the boys, last minute trip. We're going to drive up to Strawberry and uh, fish, try to fish. And then from there, we're going to go up to Current Creek, camp the night, and then fish Current Creek tomorrow morning. So, trying to make it easy, and we're just going to sleep in the van tonight. Some grocery store sushi to eat, but pretty excited. It's going to be cold. Hopefully, it, uh, we have some good fishing. Huh, Chung? Yeah, buckle up, dude. Anyway, stay tuned. Hopefully, we get some good fish. So, we're just pulling up to Chicken Creek. It's been about an hour, I don't know how long, an hour plus. Uh, this is Chicken Creek West, but we're gonna go around this to the other side. Let's see if it's crowded or not. So it's about 40 degrees outside, maybe a little bit less. So it's gonna be cold, but let's check it out. So coming up over here is where we normally, if we come to Chicken Creek, this is where we come. So let's see, it's never usually too crowded, but there are times where a lot of cars and stuff here, so let's go around and see. And so this turn off to Chicken Creek is only about a couple minutes past the Strawberry Bay Marina. I feel like the water's high though, it's pretty high up here. Let's get out here and see. So there's cars here. Oh, only one car so far. Be a good day to fish. Let's get out of here. So the weather's actually perfect up here. We normally fish right off this edge, but people are there. So I think we're gonna come down to this side, maybe fish along this area over here. But man, it looks good right now. It's not too cold, it actually feels nice. So we'll see what we can do. All right, we're here. We get set up. Boys down there, I'm gonna fish right here. Right, cast the line straight that way. And then I'll be on the lure. Just kind of fish around with the lure. Let's see how we do. Let's get some fish, boys. It's nice out here today. Well, I moved a little bit. The boys are right on that band. You can see, I don't know if you can see Chung or not, but I can see him. Chung's right over there around that band. That falls a little bit further from him. We don't have much longer because it'll get dark here at about seven. We want to drive up to Current Creek, which is about 45 minutes from here, to camp. So, probably not 30 minutes or so, but it's super quiet. We actually have better luck here, like right at sunrise or right at sundown, but we don't have, we can't wait that long because they want to camp up at Current Creek. So, tomorrow morning, we want to fish at Current Creek. So we don't catch anything here. Hopefully catch something tomorrow. Sure is pretty though. Well, no luck. Dude, I'm mean, knocking the freaking poles down. No luck uh, here at Chicken Creek. But I got hit once, but we had to, we've got to go so we're not. It's not too uh, dark for us to set up camp. So we'll drive to Current Creek, set up camp, and then the boys want to fish Current Creek in the morning. So if it's not too dark, we'll get some video at the campsite. All right, so here we are. We just decided to try to pull up just right off the road. Around This dirt road goes around Current Creek. It's hard to see it, but you can see the, the reservoir down there. I think we'll try to get up in the morning and go fish right off the dam. But we gotta get. We're gonna sleep in the van, so we should be fine sleeping in the van. But um, get our fire going and get things set up. So hopefully we're gonna get in trouble for camping here. I don't, I don't know if we're allowed to or not. But I want to say last year when we were up here, we saw someone camping here. So and then obviously there's a fire pit. So all right, boys. Let's get set up. We brought the van just to make it easy. You don't have to set up a tent. We just sleep in the van tonight. Oh, cool. Let's go. All right. 
Got dinner going. Some burgers tonight for fire. This is where we're gonna be sleeping tonight. Get a little buddy heater. We might do a video to Fat Cat. Yeah, yeah when we go home tomorrow we're going to Fat Cat, so maybe we'll do something there. But let's get some food in these boys and then we'll get in the tent okay. or get in the van and try to stay warm tonight. So Okay, we are in the tent or the van. We're just See, sleeping. Heater in here. We got the window cracked. Um, hopefully, it warms up in here. It's gonna be cold tonight. So, how's dinner tonight, boys? Good. I love those burgers. Ow. All right. Stop. Well, we'll get up early in the morning, have breakfast, and then uh, get and then get some fishing in. So. <laughs> Stay tuned. You're like squishy. We're crammed in here like homeless people. <laughs> Double died. You can skin over. Okay. Well, we're awake. Damn, I look old. <clears throat> Boys are getting up about 7.30 right now. Um, Van said actually pretty warm last night. The buddy heater only has a small tanks. So we use those through the night. Um, and then when those ran out, then I just, I turned the van on for about an hour or so keep us warm or to warm up but just out the fire going right now we want to go hit the lake pretty soon get some fish and be even before we head home then we got like a, a family day planned with the girls at home the boys are awake they're just getting getting up out of the van let's take a look let's see how they're doing it's cold. I definitely got a bloody here. nose but her get dressed, dude. If you want to fish, you gotta get out soon. Uh -huh. So I head it home. I'll get some oatmeal. You want oatmeal too, Delphine? Yeah. All right, get some oatmeal going. Oh, All right, bro. A little stove. Heat up some water for some some oatmeal, and then I brought some coffee as well. So let's heat that up. Get some breakfast and then get on to some fishing. Look at that. It's freaking beautiful up here. Boys gotta hurry and get cleaned up so we can go get down on the water. But last night when I was asleep, I got out to go pee and I heard here like hooves coming up by so it scared the hell out of me, so I jumped right back in. But yesterday when we were driving up, we saw the biggest freaking elk. It was the biggest thing I've ever seen in my life. It looked like tree branches until we drove up past it. And, and then, then it moved. Now, boys. Yeah. It was just poked out. It, it just, and then it, me so bad. And it moved freaking enormous. Anyways, one of the hunters, a hunter just uh, stopped by. So there was a hunter that just drove by coming down here. They've been coming up here because <clears throat> it's hunting season right now anyways he said that um he's asking us if we were hunting because he had seen there was a big like herd i think you call them whatever coming down this ridge and so he's spotting them he's hunting with his son so he's just spotting them and anyways i'll be honest at night it's scary <laughs> it's, it's so it's so dark but the stars once the moon goes away Hey, the stars look crazy last night, huh? Mm -hmm. the, once the, the moonlight is so bright out here because there's no other light. But once, like, the, so the moon is super bright. But once the moon goes away, it's like a blanket of stars. So, anyways, for everyone who lives in Utah and like us, or like me anyways, never got out, never took advantage of seeing the outdoors until the corona, um, you got to get out and do it. And this place, this is only ours. Have we fished here more than once or just once? Once. So we only fished here once because uh I know that I'm saying before this. Um before because my friend Danny Tuhe Taufa, he's on the tolls about this. So we came up last year and just did an overnighter like this and even brought my little daughter Emmy and we had a blast and caught a ton of fish. It was a ton of fun. It was earlier in the season, so it wasn't cold yet. But this here is like look at that. 
and the sun's gonna be coming up right above this ridge right here sun's gonna be coming up it's gonna be awesome so anyways boys we got to get going dude so we get get some fishing all right we're packed up we're headed down see if we can get us there's a few spots that we fished before so we're gonna try to we're gonna check one spot first and see if it's available try to get some fish it's cold i know but we don't have a lot of choice but this looks better than around the corner so normally we come around to this point over here <clears throat> the grass is so tall that we wouldn't be able to freaking retrieve out of it so there are fish jumping though so we're gonna come over here we will throw some power bait out but we're gonna throw some lures out too Get your poles, Sean. It is beautiful up here. Let's get some fish, baby. Let's go. Got the fish. First fish. It's hopefully, is it any good? Can you see the smallest freaking fish ever in the world? You can't even see it. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's, it's a fat one. Mm -hmm. Not bad for rainbow. Let's see. Not bad. Let's get it off. Alright. Oh, you can try it off. Over here. Chung's got his fish. Defal had one on his lure. I'm throwing this lure right now, but it's getting trailed, but I can't get anything. Fish are jumping though. See what Chung got. And then. Small little rainbow. Fish is a fish. Okay, let me sure get it off. You see. Ooh, nice dude. It's fighting pretty good for a small guy. Nice, dude. It's a pretty one. Alright, let's Hold get it off so I can see. Chung got another one. Nice, dude. And me, freaking tangled up my line with my damn lure. I'm gonna lose my lure now. Damn it. Re spool everything when I get home. Frick. Nice job, dude. It's about 9.50. We told... I told my wife we'd be home by about noon because we had a family day planned. So we got to leave here in about 10 minutes. We got three fish so far. Chung got two. Deflo, or I got one. Deflo's got... He's had a few on his lure, but he had no pull them in. So, but we've only caught them on power bait. We haven't been able to catch any on lures. But still been fun. So pretty out here. You can see fish jumping everywhere. See, that's out there. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but there's fish jumping. So, but usually we use that, like, if we use corn, if we use a power bait at strawberry, we use corn yellow and we always catch. Except for last night, we caught nothing. Um, but I found that, like, further in the mountains, the corn yellow doesn't work as much. If you use power bait, we usually use garlic, which is what we've caught on today, or lures. But we haven't been able to catch on any lures. Tried a few a few rooster tails. I've got a Jake lure. Duffalo has a few had a few um, like fish lures, whatever. Um, and he's been hooking up on those. Just hasn't been able to pull them in. So, anyways, we'll see if we catch anything in the next few minutes. If not, we're gonna hit the road and head home. All right, got one for Delphalaw before heading out. Oh, got it or? Yeah, got Don't lose it, rookie. Do not lose Don't lose it like a rookie. Do not lose Dude, this one look, not looks like the fight is good. Why you steal my pole? I don't know if it's on anymore or not. It's on. It's there. It's there. Keep going. <clears throat> Dude, look like a good one. 
Chung, don't get too far in the, in the water. Yeah. He's gonna soak your boots. Dude, that's, that's a good fight. No. I can't see. Just the fight is good. Chung over here, bring the net. Hurry, it's on this side. Oh, no. oh. Stop juking me out. Try to keep the nose this way, Duffalo. There you go. Yep, 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 yep. Small pole, but big higher. old fish. Small pole, but big it, old fish. I can't tell if it's big or not. I can't oh, that's big. That's big. That's huge. Yeah, I don't know if that's huge. That's a good one, though. That's the big one. That's the biggest one for sure. Scoop it. Scoop it, dude. What are you staring at? Got it. Oh, that is a big one. Dang. Dude, that's a good one. Oh, shoot. My boots inside are wet. Heck yeah. All right. All right. That's our last fish. It's a good one. That's our best one. Okay, get in the water. Oh, no. Ooh, hurry, hurry, hurry. Freaking dummy. Make sure. Hey, sit slowly. You killed it because those things are There you go. That's a big boy. Oh my fish. Nice dude. Alright, we gotta get going. Let's get ready and hit the road. Gotta reel this pole in. Nice dude. Nice job boys. Let's get out of here. So we're on our way out. This is the very north end of Current Creek. So we were fishing right down there. Oh, right, right there on that point. We'll go back around as well. There's a few different cool views, but just kind of give you a look as to what current Creek looks like from the top. All right, so there's the dam, which is the furthest south side. And then the current Creek camp site is up all of our, sorry, up that canyon thing up there. It's actually really nice. Last year when we came, <clears throat> you can actually fish all along that ridge right there. But it was crowded so we came right off this boat ramp and then right around that kind of that bay right there we fished there last year we caught some all right so this is the southeast southeast corner right here there's a boat ramp campsites up there like the paid campsites um last year when we came like this boat ramp right there off that bay was where we caught our biggest fish and we were fishing down there down that way it's around that bend they also have that like there's like a day use area where that truck is parked out there we came and fished there last year as well so my funky's messing up so i don't know what's going on but i just want to give you a look at it again it's beautiful up here let's go boys and this is just one of the pull-offs you can look at like there's like picking tables and stuff over here. So. Oh, nice. Oh, nice, dude. I got eight. Okay, so if you've seen the show Yellowstone in the freaking ranch. Dude, check this ranch out. This is only one side of it. It's like the north part of it. But we're gonna drive down further. It's got like its own freaking, the river runs through it, Current Creek runs through it. There's a pond over there. But it's a huge, beautiful ranch. Try to get one of my daughters to come out and marry one of these cowboys out here. It's a freaking huge, gorgeous, gorgeous ranch. We'll try to get a video from the other side. Okay, right, so, so here's, here's the ranch. Here's, here's like the ranch is over here. Like yeah, buckhorn ranch. Huge. And then, there's like a house over there. I can't see it right now. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it a little bit. 
Sagðist ekki vera að skoða þau.